welcome to the uh, Industry of Things World 2015 here in Berlin. It's my pleasure to be here with uh, Dirk Slama from um, Bosch Software Innovation. Correct. Hello, Dirk. Hi, Eric. <laughs> um, how is Bosch Software Innovation involved in IoT in general and in which projects in particular? I guess it's a wild field. That is actually a broad <laughs> question, right? So Bosch Software Innovation was um, launched about five years ago uh, because the senior management from the Bosch Group uh, saw that IoT, industrial internet, etc. is going to be a game changer for a company like ours. And um, our job basically is to help Bosch customers as well as Bosch business units to implement successful projects in the IoT. So we're looking at a number of different industries ranging from more, let's say, manufacturing related uh, topics uh, towards uh, product innovation, including areas like mobility, energy, uh, etc. Mm -hmm. And um, we really offer a whole range of services starting with a business case creation, solution design, down to the implementation side of things. With the increasing importance of IoT um, grows the need to evaluate larger and larger amounts of data. So big data is the key sure. word. Um, how, which role does big data play to fulfill this need? <laughs> Very good question. Um, let me actually uh, provide you with a concrete example because uh, everybody's talking about uh, big data uh, in, in all forms and shapes these days. Uh, what I've brought with me here um, is a power tool which is produced by one of our sister companies, Bosch Rexroth, right? So um, if you and I look at something like this, uh, more I guess from a DIY background, mm -hmm. okay, we think, okay, great, it's, it's a tightening tool. Excellent. This is actually an industrial tightening tool. So this is used in industrial settings, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, for example, in the assembly of cars, mm -hmm. aircrafts, etc. And um, what's different about this tool from the tools that you and I are most likely uh, using at home is that this actually comes equipped with an onboard computer, okay? So on this tool, you have highly advanced sensors, which are able to capture everything that happens on, on this device, right? So if I'm basically performing a tightening process, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this tool will basically capture a curve that gives me torque and angle for this particular tightening process. So what we've done is um, we've built up um, a database, and this is where we're going from single tool towards big data, right? So you can imagine if you have hundreds or even thousands of these kind of tools um, used every day in large manufacturing environments, you're talking about hundreds of millions of data points, right? And um, what we've built up is a system that basically analyzes these data points and creates profiles which are specific for the given material you're working with, the type of joint you're working with, um, the type, type of screw, the coating of the screw, etc. right? And um, from this database, uh, we can now basically create a system that uh, matches each new incoming uh, tightening process against these um, big data analytics based profiles that we have created and that basically means that we can immediately um, identify if something goes wrong with the tightening process and that's important for two reasons. First reason um, of course is quality, right? So you can imagine that a single non-compliant uh, mm -hmm. joint in a car or an aircraft can basically cause a disaster. Okay, so uh, with this approach we can identify mm -hmm. if everything went uh, perfectly uh, right. The other thing is, it also means that we can basically detect errors earlier in the manufacturing process, right? And the earlier we can detect a potential problem in the manufacturing process, the cheaper it is actually to fix this problem, mm -hmm. right? As opposed to you start and then three months later you realize there is a problem uh, with a um, joint deeply embedded in the structure you're building. Mm -hmm. That's uh, very costly to fix, right? Mm -hmm. So um, this, for me, is a very good example of um, using big data technology, combine this with um, industrial technologies and use it to optimize um, your manufacturing processes. Excellent example. Um, which trends do you see emerging in the coming years? Let's stick with um, manufacturing, mm -hmm. right? So, um, I mean, of course, if you look at the, you know, 
future factory or smart factory or brilliant factory uh, mm -hmm. type of um, designs. You see a lot of ideas, Industry 4.0, Industrial Internet Consortium, everybody has their own ideas. Mm -hmm. um, one very concrete thing uh, in terms of vision that we've developed is for these kind of tools, um, based on this emerging uh, digital twin concept, right? So the idea is that we can basically mm -hmm. take more and more data from, from these kind of tools, not only the performance, but also, for example, um, indoor localization, right? So if you're able to basically capture the precise position of your work pieces, of your equipment, and of your... demonstrators but we think that we're still um, one two years um, away from this and in terms of offering the technology and then of course the next step also is to actually really um, embed this deeply into the processes of the manufacturers. You are part um, of one of the uh, IIC's test bands. Um, tell us a bit about your experience in pioneering this type of collaborative project. Sure. So what I just described actually is part of the uh, so-called track and mm -hmm. trace test bed that uh, Bosch, Tech Mahindra and Cisco have mm -hmm. uh, initiated together. It was actually the first publicly um, launched test bed uh, launched by the ISC. That was December last year and for me it's phenomenal to mm -hmm. see the speed, uh, the hands-on approach that the ISC is taking and the speed by which we went from idea to first implementation to first real life customer projects, right? So within nine months, we really went from, from idea to implementation on the shop floor, right? I would mm -hmm. say that's in terms of um, creating a commercial uh, offering and then really selling it, I would say that's, that's really fast. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy with the work we're doing there. In fact, two weeks ago, uh, during the uh, elections to the uh, IIC steering committee, mm -hmm. I was um, elected by the members of the IIC to the uh, high sport the IC, the steering committee. I'm very grateful for the support I've received. And uh, our vision, of course, is to help um, continuing this uh, very pragmatic and, and hands-on and testbed driven um, approach of the IC. And we are very glad to continue our work in this community. Thank you so much Thank for you, coming Eric, here. Thank you, Eric, for nice being here. Have a great day. Thank you.